If someone were to win the $1 billion Powerball jackpot, how much would they actually take home? Purely out of curiosity. Not planning on dumping tons of money into a 1,375 million or whatever it is odds jackpot. I've always wondered this. I know the cash option is much lower than the 30-year annuity. And the IRS automatically taxes over 30 right off the top. Then it's taxed at a much higher rate. Then the state comes in and takes their cut as well. How much would a person actually walk away with after all the tax and lottery winning deductions? You'll walk away with somewhere around a third of whatever the advertised jackpot is. The exact amount depends on your state income tax rate. If you take the lump sum option, you're gonna get roughly 33 of the advertised jackpot after taxes. So between 300,350 meters in this case. Here in of it. Lottery winnings are no taxable as they're considered a windfall. Not income. You'll only pay tax if you put it in a bank and earn interest on it. In which case the interest is considered income. So you pay tax on that interest. Even if you walk away with $300 million after a lump sum payout and taxes, you can put $200 million into various index funds. Make roughly 10 of that every year. And use that 10 as your annual budget. Pretty great life. I won the Mega Millions in 2016. Taxes took roughly 39 of the payout and I walked away with mid eight figures. I'm trying to spend it all but you can only fly to London for a long weekend with a four pack of Korean hookers so many times a year. Depends on the state. Some states don't have income tax or don't tax lottery winnings. In those states, about 63 of the cash option, which itself is usually about half of the annuity option, more in states with income tax. Tax rates differ depending on if you choose to get the money in cash payments or lump sum. With it being much higher lump sum. So let's say you're getting paid in lump sum because most people do. IRS owns around 22 of winnings already. And federal income tax would be around 38. You also get taxed by whatever state you are in. Some are higher than others. Some states you don't get taxed at all. Like Texas, Florida, or California. Assuming you are in one of the states that do not get taxed. You'd take away $500 million. I'm in my 40s. Fuck it. I'll take the cash. If you take the lump sum you will get approximately half of the $1 billion. Then you will need to pay state and federal taxes which will be a bit more than 40 depending on what state you live in. FYI you will likely end up with more money if you take the lump sum and put the cash into an annuity on your own or some other investment product. This will also help with diversification so if the lottery or whomever pays out when you don't take the lump sum goes bankrupt your money will still be protected. Powerball is 1,302 meters and Mega Millions is 1,292 meters which are still huge odds. You literally need the RNG gods to bless you. It's based off of state too. Here in New Jersey 1B after taxes amounts to 414 meters but if I were to go across state lines to PA I would get 445 M. So roughly somewhere between 1.3 to 1.2 of current jackpot in any state. In Germany winnings aren't taxable. Well at least not a jackpot lotto winning. Highest was 45 million in 2022. By far lower than USA but still enough for a lifetime. Happy to be Canadian. We would get to keep it all. No taxes on lottery winnings. 
In the USA they tax the crap out of lottery winnings. In Canada, lotto winnings are non-taxable. In Australia lottery payouts are tax-free income so you'd get all of it. In Illinois, you get 232.47. $3.50. $432 million or $33.3 million per year. Tanking the lump sum is the best idea cause if the company that pays out goes out of business while you have the payment plan you basically get screwed out of the rest of your money. Like 400 mil. Has each state broken down with taxes on Powerball and Mega Millions? On $1 billion it will be $325 million before state taxes. 50 bucks after taxes. 12,000 bitcoins. About 350. Do what CEOs do and demand it's paid out in stock. Then you can take home a lot more while claiming it's not income. Cash prizes should not be taxed. Highest federal tax rate is 37. There isn't a special lottery tax. They only withhold 25 though for reasons I guess. Iowa's top tax rate is 5 so tacky by the cash option. You end up with about 58 after satisfying taxes 75 actually given to you but you still owe taxes. The exact amount varies from factors such as taxes, annuity options, and jurisdiction regulations. So basically the government may take 50-65 of the money and you get to take home $500 million or less. But that's still a lifetime's worth of money. But it depends what state you live in. $1 billion. Estimated cash value $516,800,000. So in other words you are winning $516,800,000 but the lottery commission will use those funds to Purchase an annuity in your name that will pay 30 annual installments totaling $1 billion. If you take the cash option, 24 about 124 meters will be withheld and forwarded to the federal government as estimated taxes. So your check will be for about $392 million if your state exempts lottery winnings. The lump sum. If you choose that option, and most people will, is $516 million on the $1 billion jackpot. How much you would actually take home after that depends on where you live. You can deduct an immediate 28 I think in federal taxes. But on top of that your state will leverage some taxes unless you live in a state with no income tax. It would be 30-35 in most states total including federal so that would leave you with about $350 million. Give or take a tenner. In Georgia it's about 30. You guys have to pay tax. Jesus the U. S takes that much. Do I need to be US citizen to buy tickets? Of course a lot depends on your state. Fed takes 24%. So that would be $240 mil. There are also several states that do not tax these winnings. So the most would be $760 million. Jackpot divided by half for the cash option. Then take 45 off that for taxes. How the heck do I even play the Powerball? Who gives a fuck? It is still enough to get enough hookers and blow and a nice house and car that as long as you're not a complete fuckwit your grandkids will never run out of money. If I win it would be zero dollars because I'm never going home again. 